my name is anil gulati i am the founder director chairman and ceo of uh, pharmas incorporated besides this i am emeritus professor at midwestern university and i am also emeritus professor at university of illinois chicago so stroke is a very serious problem it is number 3 uh in the world which is responsible for deaths and uh, in india the incidence of stroke is very high close to 1.5 million new strokes are uh, occurring every year uh, the problem is not only limited to india but eastern part of the world like china korea the incidence is going up china probably has more than 3 million uh, cases every year us advanced countries also have close to 795000 new cases every year similarly europe about 800000 so this problem is is uh, serious and uh, not only the problem is that it leads to mortality but it leads to disability so that becomes a huge problem for the family that lot of family members have to suffer along with the patients to deal with this kind of situation another issue which is uh, the drug which is approved for use in stroke as i mentioned previously that there are a lot of challenges in developing the drug for stroke and uh, surgical interventions have improved uh, like thrombectomy they have improved the incidence and thrombectomy can be used uh, much after 4 hours also within 12 hours window is there but still it is not enough and uh, the incidence still remains the same so there were attempts to make uh, drugs which can protect the brain and neuroprotective agents have not shown any success there are some of them which are uh, which are sold in many parts of the world but they are not meeting with any success particularly when randomized clinical trials or controlled clinical trials are done uh, not much of benefit is seen so then there was ultimately recently it was discovered that uh, there are hidden stem cells in the brain which can multiply and form new neurons so those attempts have been started and that is where the focus has become that we are able to regenerate part of the brain and that can lead to success in treatment of stroke so we we have been working in this area for since 1989 when there is a peptide which was discovered and first reported in 1988 and we started working in 89 and we found that this peptide is very highly concentrated in the brain but for decades we kept on working and many many other researchers they kept on working and could not find the exact function of those receptors which are very highly concentrated in the brain then in 2004 5 that's the time it was discovered that these receptors and the peptide is important for development of the brain or development of central nervous system so then our idea was uh, that if it is important why not stimulate those receptors and try to repair the damaged brain so we tried that attempt in 2007 and came out with astounding success and that is where we started developing uh, sovateltide as a drug for the treatment of stroke so once all those studies were done we got the permission from the drug controller general's office in india to start phase 1 human studies and they came out to be successful in the sense that uh, the safety of this drug was very well established and now we had the safety established we went on to study the phase 2 uh, uh, trials astoundingly that clinically meaningful and statistically significant improvement occurred in neurological outcome in all the parameters which were measured so this was a huge success from the point of view of treatment for stroke and uh, so we took all the data and went to us fda to ask them that what is their opinion about this and we filed an ind application for straight phase 3 clinical trial based on indian data and 
to our uh, satisfaction, to our uh, uh, US FDA analyzed our application and granted us full approval of phase 3 IND. In addition, US FDA also encouraged us to apply for uh, special protocol assessment. Down the line, 20, uh, it was May 31st, 2023 when the Director General's Office or the Health Ministry approved our drug for marketing authorization. So once the drug was approved, that was a huge, uh, my lifetime ambition that a drug which is discovered from my lab, which is for the cause of so much of suffering for patients, has been approved for the first time in India. And being an Indian, I'm a I'm little bit... Uh, I was selfish in the sense that I wanted the drug to be approved in India and then it goes into any other country. So that ambition has been successful. And now I hope that thousands and thousands of patients who are suffering from stroke will get benefit in India and subsequently across the world. I am very pleased that Sun Pharma, which is the biggest company in India and which has the topmost present in central nervous system, and has huge presence for the treatment of stroke. We have formed a partnership with Sun Pharma and they are going to, they have already start, done, started the distribution and sales in the country. So the nationwide launch has already been done and uh, so hopefully now uh, patients in India will be getting benefit out of this drug. Uh, besides stroke, there is uh, this drug can be applied in many other situations which we are exploring like Alzheimer's disease, hypoxic ischemic and capillopathy, spinal cord injury, uh, traumatic brain injury uh, because all of these conditions will need the brain to be regenerated. So we are trying to see whether this drug can be applied in other conditions or not. So some of them have already reached clinical trials, some are in preclinical pre studies. So as the company pharmas, we are dedicated to advancing science and then leaving the commercial part to other uh, companies. So the pipeline which we have uh, is not only for the central nervous system, but there is another drug which we developed, uh, 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 a lot of research was done was on when there is massive blood loss or hypovolemic shock. So that is the condition which also leads to about 20% mortality. So we found that uh, the drug which we have discovered by the name of Senthaquin, this came out from Lucknow, uh, CDRI, that is where the molecule was first synthesized, but it was dropped and not developed and uh, we took that molecule and developed into a drug which is already available in India now and uh, that is saving close to 8.8% absolute reduction in mortality has come out. So as a company, Pharmas is continuing to engage in research and developmental activities and ultimately leaving the commercial part to the bigger companies who, can, who have the muscle power to distribute and sell the product in the country.